rebooted and ready for a new challenge. This emblem of modern science has actually been running at half power since it hummed into life in 2008. That didn't stop the Large Hadron Collider, or LHC, discovering one of the building blocks of the universe. What the first run of the LHC showed us was how successful our theory of particle physics is. Every prediction that we had was matched by observation and we even discovered the last missing piece, the Higgs boson. But in a sense what it also showed us was how incomplete and almost wrong our theory is because we know there are so many things out there that we don't understand and we can't explain with our theory. Next on the mystery solving list is dark matter. You probably want to know what it is. Brace yourselves. The entry on NASA's website begins with the Yoda-esque phrase, more is unknown than is known. But for what it's worth, here is the Channel 4 News guide to dark matter. A long time ago, in fact it was the 1950s, scientists looking at galaxies far, far away discovered a troubling problem. In theory, galaxies should work like this. Planets closer to the center move slowly, planets further away must move quicker to cover more ground. That's how ours works. But in other galaxies, scientists saw the opposite. Planets closer to the centre moved faster than ones on the edge. That's only possible, scientists say, if there's some hidden weight or mass which pulls those planets towards the centre no matter how fast they spin. That hidden mass is dark matter. We know from uh, looking at the universe around us that there is more ma mass in, in the universe than we can account for with the stars, the planets, etc. In fact, all the matter that we know about is about 4% of the, 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 the total matter in the universe. Um, the rest is dark matter or dark energy. So how will the LHC scientists find something that nature has hidden so well? The collider itself is a 16-mile loop of pipes through which are fired protons, particles from the middle of an atom. When they collide, for a fraction of a second, they release the kind of energy only seen near the Big Bang, which scientists believe created the universe. From that collision, they hope to get the first clues about what dark matter is. The project is still flushed with success from 2012, when this £600 million a year facility solved Professor Peter Higgs' half-century-old physics problem. Well, I would like to add my congratulations to everybody involved in this tremendous achievement. Uh, for me, it's really an incredible thing that it's happened in my lifetime. <laughs> Finding the Higgs boson, which explains why some particles have mass, won him a Nobel Prize. It's easy to forget the initial doubts about whether the collider would yield such a result. Now, with more power behind the machinery, the expectations are even greater. The collider harnesses the world's most powerful supercomputer. The temperature inside the tubes is colder than in outer space. The particles travel at almost light speed. Yet for all the technology, we should remember that the timelines involved in this kind of science stretch back to the creation of the universe. Making quick discoveries is the exception, not the rule.